Hi there, this is Peggy Arvidson, the Awaken Your Soul Coach. I use modern and ancient techniques to help overstress type A successful dog loving female entrepreneurs get clear with their purpose so they can get out of their own way and make a huge difference in the world. I love what I do and one of the ancient tools that I use is hand analysis. What I'm going to do today is give you a mini reading of uh, my friend Melissa McDaniel. She is a skilled photographer and longtime animal lover and she runs a business taking photographs of people's animals as well as providing stock photos for different organizations. She's got some great things coming up and I want you to take the time to get to know her. You can visit her Facebook page, Melissa McDaniel, when you are finished watching this video. What we have here is Melissa's hand. Can you all see that? All right. Melissa's hand is, obviously she's right-handed, and the key thing that I noticed when I first looked at this hand is exactly how intuitive Melissa is. You can tell that when you look at this space, that big huge line that you can even see in this video under her pinky, as well as her ring finger. That pinky line actually comes up over here it's hard to do this like a mirror. And it indicates to me that Melissa's best ideas for business as well as life come from a place of her deep gut, her intuition. When she trusts it, she knows she has the best and the true process to move forward with her life and her goals. I think that's a beautiful gift, Melissa. I don't know if you're aware that you have that or not. And I'd love to encourage you to find ways to tap into that in ways that suit you and your purpose here. Um, as well as getting to know more about ways for you to tap into your intuition. That would probably be a great place for you to head. You also have what I would call a warrior line. Melissa, you're quite the warrior. You like to fight for causes that you believe in. The challenge for folks with a warrior line is simply, do you have a cause that's big enough to warrant your power? in this cause. So Melissa, make sure that when you are ready to, you know, quote unquote, get on that soapbox and start charging ahead, ask yourself, is this the cause that will benefit from my beautiful gift of fighting for right and making the world a better place? Go ahead, dream bigger, fight for the bigger causes. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about was your sense of independence. I can see that in a couple of areas in your hand. One is the way in which your pinky sits on the hand. You're very independent, you like to think on your own, but what that sometimes leads to is a sense of isolation, a sense of I don't know where I belong, I don't want to bother someone else with my problems, or I'm sure they won't understand, I don't want to have to explain myself, so I'm just going to go ahead and sit in here and build myself my little wall. Does that make any sense to you? The key for this like everything else in the hand, is this is a perfectly neutral situation. If it doesn't feel good, if it feels yucky, you have permission to start pulling down that wall, finding ways to bring other people in, and to use your voice to tell your story and build closer, more intimate relationships. Between building those relationships and trusting your gut, to get you where you need to go. I know there's a lot of success for you in store and clearly you're on the right path because your hand says to me if you are not using your creativity every single day you're going to be miserable. You're going to feel like you are uh, invisible, you're going to feel unappreciated, you're starting to feel perhaps a little apathetic when you don't use your creativity. I challenge you to find a way to be creative in each of your endeavors, even the more tedious chores that you have on your list. Washing the dishes can be a fun game. Bring the playback, that's a great uh, a great tool for folks with the need for creativity in the spotlight. I look forward to seeing great things from you and thank you again Melissa McDaniel for sharing your hand with me. This is Peggy Arvidson, the Awaken Your Soul Coach. If you would like to know more about what your hands have to say about you and your business, give me a call at 703-577-4759 or visit my website intuitiveevolution.com or my blog, which is awakenyoursoul.wordpress.com.
Thanks so much. I look forward to talking to you soon.